This is my finite state machine combination lock. There is the combination input here, which can be 0 or 1. This is the enter push button to enter the input and clock the flip-flops. This is the reset uh, push button. And there's a red LED here to indicate the reset state, a green LED to indicate the locked unlock state, and two yellow LEDs. This is Q1 and this is Q0 to show the states. So there's four states in total and they follow this directed graph. So from the ready or reset state, you can go to the on the right path state, which is B, if your combination input is correct, which is zero for the first one. If it's wrong, then you go into the wrong state uh, and you get stuck here. And from B, if your combination is correct again, C1, uh, then you get unlocked and go into the unlock state C. From state C, whether you your combination input is one or zero, you will be returned to the reset state. So let's check that it works. From the reset state, which is Q0, Q1, Q0 and Q1 are zero or low, we make the combination input low and we press enter and we enter into state B which is on the right path and we enter the correct combination again which is high and we press enter Ta-da! we are in the unlock state and the unlock state is Q01 and Q11 so from this state we can press either the reset push button or the enter push button and it will return to the reset state from the reset state, if we had entered the wrong input, so let's say combination input 1, we enter the state D, which is both of these LEDs are off, and it's you can't, no matter what you do from this point on, even if you change the input, you can't get out of the state. And the only way to get out of the state is to press the reset button. So, if you are on the right track, so the first input is correct, but now you want to put in the second input, and the second input is wrong, again you'll go into the wrong state, and you can't do anything now until you reset. So, once again, to have it working, the first state is zero, the second input is 1, and you're in. It's unlocked. Wonderful. So this um, is the, these are the equations for D0 and D1 of the two flip-flops that I used to set the four states. Um, and this is the schematic we are using. This is the 74HC14, which is the Schmidt trigger or inverter. Uh, we're using four out of six of the inverters. This is the double flip flop, which is 74HC74. And this is H, this 74HC00 which is a set of um, four NAND gates and this is also a set of four NAND gates which is the same chip and this is a uh, XOR gate which is the 74 HC86 so yep it's beautiful